What's up guys? In this episode, we're back at Lloyd Originals in Wilmington, Delaware, and we are fitting a 1952 door to this truck cab behind us. The door came from our friends at Golden Star Auto Parts. They're supposed to make the best fitting doors on the market. It's looking like they do. So this is the brand new door from Golden Star. This is right out the box, just bolted it on the truck cab, and the fit and finish is phenomenal. It's um, pretty amazing. All the body lines line up very nice, front and rear. Um, your bottom to cab, super nice. You will have to work on your gaps, but that's pretty much any aftermarket product. Yeah, because you never really know what's happened to this cab over its entire life. I mean, this is a 52, so someone's could have been in there, it could have been in an accident any time, so for it to fit this well right out of the box is really impressive. Uh, I see a little bit of gaps up here that you'll have to contend with, I mean, but everything's gonna need a little bit of massaging, but for it to be this close without adjusting anything, just literally bolting it on out of the box, I think that's pretty damn good. And if you're a shop, think of the labor hours you're gonna save by not having to cut and wedge and, and channel anything on the doors and these panels, just bolt it on and go. Yeah, I'm amazed at how well this- I know. This lines up. That's with nothing done to it. I mean, yeah. this is literally out the box. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, that, I'm, I'm amazed at how well it just- Yeah. All the way down, down to the rockers, it just, it just fits really well. Yeah. And I mean, that body line, that's usually like the hardest thing to get lined up. Yeah. I mean, realistically, all you're gonna have to do is gap the doors, go around the whole edge and get your even gap. Um, but you're gonna have to do that with any door, whether it's a factory door yeah. or an aftermarket door. Even, even if you go to a junkyard and grab a door. That's what I'm you're saying. Gonna, you're gonna have to do the gap on yeah. the edges anyway. But and it looks like the... Pro most of this gap is really, really good. Like It's not bad. Like, that's really incredible. Yeah. I mean, I've seen stuff at Good Guys that had worse gaps. Yeah, that, so. yeah. <laughs> and yeah. it was painted. Yeah. The door actually fits so well that someone could actually paint it and run it without doing major modifications to it. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I guess if you're looking for just like a really good driver or something that is a beater, it might have too much rust to repair, you could throw this on paint it and oh definitely just roll it yeah put some yeah. big gaskets in it and call it a day yeah definitely but if you're trying to win shows there's only one way to do that right well everybody wants that nice eighth inch gap yeah all the way around yeah absolutely but this gets you 90 percent there oh yeah without you know with minimal work yeah this is probably one of the nicest doors aftermarket doors that i've i've had to deal with it it, it fits really nice that's awesome all right so you guys have seen us take the door right out of the box bolted up to the truck and really little to no kind of effort whatsoever it just lines up now if you want to get it closer you can tweak and fit and finish it like any other kind of show car but right out of the box if you want to get as close as you can get i think you need to order these doors thanks to golden star for letting us try these doors out thanks to butch for letting us use the shop and uh yeah we'll see you guys next time